Welcome to One Way TV this week. We've just had St. Patrick's Day through the week, hence the Ireland t-shirt. Anyway, we hope that you've had a great week and we hope that you've got another great week coming up. Uh, we have Andrew this week bringing us a message on the Father's love, so keep an eye out for that and make sure that you tune in to onewaytv.org, 7pm Friday and 9am Sunday. Catch you next time. Bye. This year, this is my year, our year. Can you feel it? More motivation. 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 Synergy. 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 Adventure. 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 Responsibility. 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 Intimacy. 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 Achievement. Achievement. Advancement. 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 Determination. 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 Focus. Focus. This is my year. Honey, so? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Motivation. Integrity. Determination. Synergy. Come on, honey. You're not even listening to me. I mean, I have a poster and everything this time. This is perfect. I mean business. Jack? <laughs> this is my year. I promise. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship a soul leaning. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the the Lord of my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Your name is great. 
Andrew Behrman speaking. Haven't been here for a while and Julie invited me to come and share just a few thoughts. Well, today I want to talk about um, the love of the Father. And obviously I'm talking about the Heavenly Father, but also talking about our earthly fathers and what they do for us and how much they care for us. My dad had a soft spot for, for dark chocolate. He just loved dark chocolate. And obviously when my father was alive and we were younger, um, you know, he used to go every Friday and buy some dark chocolate. Then on Fridays he'll sit there and have a little nibble of, at his chocolate. And me and my brothers used to sit around in the lounge room watching Dad nibbling away, thinking, oh, I'd love a piece. But we always did get a piece of dark chocolate because Dad looked at us and said, oh, i better share this with my sons. So he'd break a few pieces off and you know, and gave us a few pieces and we savoured that moment by eating the chocolate to the point my father, you know, he never got to nearly eat any because he shared it with everybody else. And so what I learned from that was basically, you know, the heart for the of the father towards his sons. And, uh, you know, he gave up everything for us, even his lovely um, dark chocolate and whatever else he had, he just gave it up for us. He wanted to share it with us and we obviously enjoyed what he did for us and that's just like the heavenly father he is giving us so much and giving us uh, and gave up so much in regards to his only one son and I remember a, a couple of weeks ago I was at tennis and I was watching two guys talk about their their children and you know how much they do for them and you know and they'll do anything for them and they go out their way and sacrifice hours waiting in the car while the, their children are at school or university and the, you can see there was nearly a competition between these two guys sharing about their children and what they do for them but it was the heart of it basically they'll do anything for their children and I thought that was just fantastic that they're prepared to do all of that and we think well that's pretty normal and it, it is normal but the sad uh, case is that a lot of children go out with any love from their fathers. In regards to my two sons, I'll do anything for them too. Um, and, and I have, and I'll continue to do that because you want to see the very best for them. You want to see them to reach their, you know, their, their God-given desire in their heart and, uh, and become successful so they in turn can do that for their, their children one day when they're married. 
So then we look at the Heavenly Father and what he's done. He gave up a human being. He sacrificed his son that we may have life and life to the fullest. I don't think I could do that, give up my children to be sacrificed for the world. But he did because he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and he sacrificed his son who is Jesus Christ. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And I just think, you know, my goodness, how fortunate we are that we have a God that gave up his Son, that we may have eternal life. And that person is the greatest man in history. And I've got something written down here I'd like to read to you. It's titled, The Greatest Man in History. Had no servants, yet they called him master. He had no degree, yet they called him teacher. He had no medicines, yet they called him healer. He had no army, yet they, the kings feared him. He had no military battles, yet the, he conquered the world. He committed no crimes, yet they crucified him. Was buried in a tomb, and he still lives today. So that's who he is. That's who Christ is. He gave up everything for us. He did some incredible things in this world, and yet people followed him. And I just think that we're so fortunate to know that we can call on him in any time that we need to and just reach out to him, and especially now in COVID. What do we do? We can call out to him. We can get to know him. We can read about him. We can speak to him in prayer because he's right there so today i just want to encourage you all that we have a father and his name's jesus and he's there for you so if you want to pray to the lord and ask him to come into your life he will god bless and have a great day in our pro corner this week we continue to bring our state and our nation before god we ask for saul to pull conversions that leaders in our state and nation would have a, have a conversion and have an encounter with Jesus and to live for you as zealously as they opposed your ways. We thank you, Lord, for U-turns that are happening in our society, the, the U-turns away from injustice and unrighteousness, the uncovering of corruption, greed and underhanded deals and exposure of demonic plots that don't bring life. Father, we thank you. And we thank you again that you are a God of justice, of grace and mercy. And that once again, that justice and righteousness, the grace and mercy would be the rule of the rule of law in this state and nation. Father, we ask that the church would have urgency, courage and wisdom in navigating the current events in the world and for them to be on guard and walking in the love of the Father. Help us to have the courage to stand firm in faith Father, pour out your Holy Spirit over this great Southland. Let it once again ring with the joy of revival, the sounds of singing and praise and the celebration of your goodness and faithfulness. Father, thank you that we can speak healing, health and wholeness over those watching, that you meet us where we need and draw us to you. Lord Jesus, help us to dream this year and let this year be our year. Stir inside of us a desire for healing, for righteousness and hope. When despair or discouragement creeps in, help us see the possibilities and see things through your eyes. Amen. Alrighty everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our scripture coming up, our memory verse, and we'll catch you next time. Bye! Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God in the midst, the Mighty One, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love. He will rejoice over you with singing. From the New King James. Music